the Lisa Marie Jones Maiden Hurdle is next. And I think every year I ask you Lisa Marie Jones is and nobody ever knows. It's a three mile one furlong maiden five year old hurdle. Well, five year old and upwards hurdle. Zara Zeus at the top for Padraig Hogan. Gadebridge, Darren Thompson, Colorado Stopic River, Martin Leader, Olive Oil, Matt Cooper, and the Watcher for Graham Clutterbox. Uh, a field of five. Oh, I'm guessing one or two of these are probably in to get a handicap mark as much as anything. I can tell you that Kaleidoscopic River is mine. He's definitely in here. And away in racing just to get a little handicap mark. That's predominantly a chase of that one. I'll watch it fall there. And they get over the first. And Olive Oil pulling for a head is in the lead. And the rest of them are virtually in a line. And Olive Oil or Matt Cooper. With his first winner of the season earlier today. Leads by the best part of two lengths to Zara Zeus for Badrag Hogan in second. And the watcher for Graham Clutterbuck on the outside in his new colours. And the grey for Darren Thompson, Gade Bridge. He's been doing his usual trick of winning or falling. Darren Thompson and the back marker is Collider Stop It River for me. As they make their way to the second. As they all get over nicely. towards flight three five horses in this five pots of prize money up for grabs so if you complete the course you'll make a profit and get over the third one of all is in the lead the watcher zara zeus and gadebridge are virtually all sharing second and kaleidoscopic river He's quite happily tucked away at the back in fifth place. So they suck them past the stand and they'll swing out right handed for a complete circuit of the Kempton track. You see the all weather track on the inside there, then the turf flat track, then the chase track, and then this hurdle track, which is the one on the outside. And Olive Oil. Leading by five to the Grey Gade Bridge is now a clear second. Zara Zeus and the Watcher are sharing third. And Collider Stopic River continues to trail the tails at the back of this field of five. They've still got two miles to go. They've got more than one complete circuit to go yet. And they get over that one. Coming up. the car parks this will be the final flight next time around they're all over it safely and olive oil passes the warning post then with a circuit to go and a clear lead of about four lengths to the grey gate bridge in second then zara zeus and the washer share in third and kaleidoscopic river just the back marker so the order has been pretty much the same throughout. And now they're in pure Indian file now as Olive Oil leads Gainbridge second, Zara Zeus third, the Watcher. Just breaking that Indian file momentarily, but now dropping back into it again. And then the back marker is Kaleidoscopic River. Over the sixth they go. A bit of a slow jump by the Watcher towards the back. Olive Oil. He's travelling nicely in the lead. Zara Zeus in second now. Gadebridge third. And the Watcher and finally Kaleidoscopic River. They've got a mile and a quarter to go. It's going to be a... It's going to turn into a race. It's going to turn into one soon. And it's Olive Oil. Who's continuing to show the way. Looks to be going more within herself. Gadebridge has regained second. Ahead of Zara Zeus. The Watcher... He's getting a bit closer to them again, and Kaleidoscopic River is still toiling at the back. Olive Oil. With a mile to go, has led all the way. Cadebridge and Zara Zeus next as they get over the eighth. Really good jump there by Zara Zeus. Oh, 
little Zara Zeus, actually, not Zara Zeus. It's olive oil in the lead from Zara Zeus and then Gade Bridge. Then the Watcher and a gap of six lengths of Kaleidoscopic River. It looks like it's been left behind. This is the third last. And olive oil dropped that really nicely. She's not stopping in the lead. Zara Zeus is second. The Watcher has now crept round the outside into third. Gage was just being shook up to start a bit of a run. Kaleidoscopic River is trying to get in touch, but it's got a lot to do. Two to take. Olive Oil now about to be joined by the Watcher. And Olive Oil kicks on again. It opens up by two lengths again. Then the Watcher in second. Zara Zeus and Gage Bridge. And then Kaleidoscopic River is getting a little bit closer. But it's Olive Oil who's kicked on. Olive Oil, two lengths up, two more hurdles to take, but still three and a half furlongs to race. And Olive Oil by two to the Watcher in second, Gage Bridges in third. Suddenly Zaru Zeus is the one who looks to be under pressure. Kaleidoscopic River is still trying to run on, but making no impression whatsoever. It's Olive Oil. Now about to be challenged by Gage Bridge and the Watcher. At the second last, and Olive Oil a little bit slow that time. Gadebridge in second. Zaru Zeus has now got a second win, and he's going through the challenge on the outside. The Watcher's back in fourth. Gadebridge takes it up as they come down towards the final flight. Gadebridge immediately pressed by Zaru Zeus over the final flight. They go, and Zaru Zeus it is who's going to pull away. And Zaru Zeus into the final half furlong is going to be a winner for Padre Hogan as they race up towards the line. Zaru Zeus takes it from Gadebridge second, the Watcher third, then Olive Oil back in fourth, and Kaleidos. Tropic River never passed a horse in the race. And Zaru Zeus, despite me saying his name wrong most of the way around, has won it. For Patrick Hogan, Gade Bridge. Or Darren Thompson was second. The Watcher for Graham Clutterbuck was third. Olive Oil for Matt Cooper was fourth. And Kaleidoscopic River was fifth.